Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. At the moment, it is 10.53 and being chauffeur driven in the baby blue Fiat 500 to work. It's back to the routine. I've had a awesome time in Portugal, which I'll keep you a, give you an update on once I get to SB Race Engineering. It's also going to be the first time that I've seen my car in about 10 days. Um, not sure whether it would have moved, but it's an exciting prospect nonetheless, and um, I'll be giving you an update on when that's going to be fixed and when the videos of it being back on the road are going to be coming. So. Um, Really excited, and we are on our way to work. Just seen a Rolls Royce Phantom um, in Watford, which is a rare sight. And um, yeah, so it's going to be good to be back. We're down at SB Race Engineering, and as you can see in the background, I can see my car, and I haven't seen it for a good nine days or ten days. So uh, exciting to see it again, but it's just a shame that it's not on the road. So let's jump in. I have the keys and it's just like a surreal feeling, a very surreal feeling that, that it's mine. Quick overview. Dirty poo. More poo. More seagull poo. It's just dusty as well. Lots of dust. Definitely, definitely hasn't moved in the last week. <laughs> More poo. Let's get in it. I bet it's hot. There's a serious heat wave in here, which is like what I've experienced for the past week or so in Portugal, but I haven't been wearing black and um, sitting on black leather either but Portugal it was an amazing time we've been there before um, and to go back there again the weather was fantastic and the only downside was the lack of supercars I've been there um, a couple of years ago and we've seen Ferraris and Lamborghinis but this time we just saw one Maserati um, or I saw one Maserati my girlfriend managed to see an even a better Maserati than me an MC Stradale convertible which uh, pretty awesome stuff but um, the houses were amazing. And I got to swim with a dolphin, if you saw my Instagram, so that was pretty cool. But now I'm sat uh, back in my car, I just wanna go driving, and I've been wanting to drive this car all week since I've been in Portugal. Every single uh, step that I've taken outside of the villa, I've just been imagining having the car out there, having uh, the army trick sound in my ears as I'm driving down to the beach and things like that. And I mean, it's just a, a very surreal feeling to know that I own this car, uh, but it wasn't in, it wasn't with me, which um, is always a negative. But um, I hope to um, have this car on the road by the end of the week. Um, it's going to be a day of uh, speaking with SB Race Engineering and when it can be fitted in. I'm just playing with the pedals, as uh, you're all aware that I get distracted really easily when I'm doing the video vlogs. Um, and it's just a case of getting this back on the road and I've, I've said to a few friends as soon as this goes back on the road it's going to get driven um, very hard. I'm just going to put a whole tank of fuel in and uh, maybe I'll do a video on how bad the fuel can be on the Audi R8 because it just I'm, just, I'm addicted to that speed and this car has got a lot of speed but at the moment I mean it's stayed standstill. It's been standstill for a good two weeks which um, probably isn't very good for the car. Brakes will need to get worn in again and things like that. The car is alive and it's on with the valve shut. Hasn't been started up for a good 10 days. So I thought that um, let's run it in a bit. Get all oh, the things back in. Oh, is that a car? No, it's not the car, it just smells. But just an opportunity to let the car run, let the uh, stuff in the engine run around, warm up a bit. So the car's just not sat there, stagnant, not doing anything. So we've moved the car parallel to SB so that we can get this car washed. 
because there's way too much dust in it, way too much bird poo. So it's time to give this car a good old wash and um, make it looking a bit more sparkling for the sun. But um, let's have a quick walk around the SB Race Engineering Workshop because they've got some pretty awesome cars in the, here at the moment. Uh, we've got three set of Maserati. One, two, three. We've got a Ferrari in front here. In front of the Ferrari. We have a yellow Diablo Roadster. Back in the SB Race Engineering office, having been downstairs looking at some of the awesome cars that are down there. Uh, this video blog was just to give you guys an update to let you all know that I'm back in the UK and will be giving you some daily video blogs. So if you have any uh, comments or requests on what you want to see in the coming video blogs, please comment below and I will get back to uh, everyone and hopefully be able to bring you what you want to see. I hope that you've enjoyed the videos over the past week and I can assure you that the videos to come in the coming weeks and months are going to be insane as they always are during the summer and Supercars of London is going Supercars of Monaco next week which I'm very excited about going with Parata della Strada as mentioned previously. There'll be a introduction video to that coming this week. This Thursday my car is scheduled to go on the ramp here um, to have a few bits done and will be fixed which hopefully means over the weekend I'll be able to give you some awesome videos on how bad my car is on fuel because I have a craving for the acceleration and the army trick sound through tunnels but also uh, give you some cool uh, some more supercar action and hopefully teaming up with a few more cars that have army tricks exhaust systems but also just some more supercars and hopefully bringing you some uh, crazy content to come so thank you very much for watching and uh, staying with me whilst i've been on holiday there's going to be a lot more to come on the supercars of london youtube channel so make sure that you subscribe share comment like um, and uh, i will see you guys tomorrow thank you very much for watching Make sure you subscribe for a hell of a lot more of this.